So to be honest, I, I feel pretty bad for Devin Booker. I'm, that's how I'm going to start this video today. The Suns have not done the best job rebuilding around him. I mean, obviously, first overall in the 2018 draft, I took DeAndre Aiden, who's working out a ton. I feel like he's actually, at this point of his career, kind of an underrated center. Like, he's been super solid. And, like, obviously, you know, we haven't had basketball in a minute, but I think he was really solid. Like, I think I saw a statistic. He was put up, like, 25 and 15 in his last four games before, you know, obviously the NBA went on pause. But... Today's video, if you could not tell by the title and thumbnail, we're going to be trading Devin Booker and then doing a Suns rebuild. What I'm going to try to do today is I'm going to try to find a decently realistic trade. I make no promises about that. I'm not going to fleece somebody. Um, and then the rest of this rebuild is obviously not going to be realistic. I don't really do realistic rebuilds. But if you guys do want to see the other side of this, I'd be happy to do it. And I honestly will probably do it with the same trade. That's why I want to do the Suns part first. Because if I trade him to a team, like I feel like it's either going to be the Knicks, the Timberwolves, maybe the Hawks. But like one of those teams... I'm probably going to do so. I want you guys to let me know down below in the comment section of this video what team do you think is most realistic to get Devin Booker and what would that trade be? And of course, if you guys are new around here, make sure to subscribe. 45% of you that watch these videos are not subscribed. And we get to 300 likes in this video, that would be awesome. But let's hop into this right now. Uh, immediately, I simmed the rest of the season. We went 27 and 55, and I'm pretty sure the Suns were like almost a borderline, not borderline playoff team, but I'm pretty sure they were a lot closer than a lot of people thought. So. Nonetheless, let's see what pick we're projected. Uh, we are currently projected to get pick five. That would be nice if we want to give us pick five. Of course, they don't. We fall to pick six. That's not the end of the world. Okay, staff signing here. Uh, Tyler Hughes, goodbye. I mean, I feel, feel like Monty Williams wasn't terrible, but uh, you're fired. Goodbye. Like, ugh, brother. I just feel like, honestly, like a lot of these guys, ooh. I feel like I'm almost cheating on Randy Martin signing like Donald. Who is Donald Jones? I'll sign him. Uh, I'll take Peterson. And then honestly, I'll, I'll give one more year to Monty Williams. I'll give one him one more year because honestly, I don't even know who's running the Suns, but they are not doing a very good job. Nicholson doesn't want to come here. Um, I'll just take Christopher Murray. That's fine. Okay, so we get him. Monty Williams will have one more year. As I mentioned, we do have the sixth pick in the draft. Preferably, I can maybe look to trade up after this and maybe get Anthony Edwards to replace Devin Booker. That would be a huge W in my opinion. But first, I got to find a Devin Booker trade. I honestly have no idea if... Minnesota will take this, but honestly, I can kind of see it happening in real life. If Minnesota gets like a top three pick in the draft and they want Devin Booker to pair up with like Devin Booker's best friends, or if they want to get Booker to pair up with like his best friends, D'Angelo Russell and Carl Anthony Towns, I think they would give the top three pick. Maybe not one. That might be tough. They don't want to do that. I'd be willing to maybe toss in a second. Uh, they want, no, 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 no. They want to give me D'Lo. I'm not going to take D'Lo back. I'm trying to find a somewhat realistic trade here. And honestly, this isn't even realistic. They'd have to be like giving up a lot of pieces, but I kind of want to keep all these guys. Um, I'll give you Jalen Leck. That's honestly not that bad. They're not interested. Seriously? Like, I feel like they would probably take this. And they agree to that. So, that's probably as realistic as it was going to get. I tried to do something with the Knicks and the Hawks. The Knicks were giving me Mitchell Robinson. The Hawks wanted to give me Clint Capella. The Knicks have no other talent, really. And, I mean, besides R.J. Barrett. But then I'm probably not doing R.J. Barrett there. And then the Hawks, like, I'm not taking Trey Young. I'm not taking John Collins. Like, that just doesn't make sense. So, that's the move I went with. I honestly don't think it's the worst move in the world. As I mentioned, I really do want Anthony Edwards. So hopefully, like, LaMelo does go number one. I mean, what are they projecting right now? All right, well, prospect-wise. LaMelo, Wiseman, Edwards. Okay, I'm going to draft two guys here. This is this team obviously is in full need of a rebuild, a total like start from scratch. And I know what you're going to say. DeAndre Ayton's not start from scratch, but he was literally drafted two years ago. So that's, I mean, Booker was, what, 2015, and they still haven't done anything. I just feel bad for the guy. But Anthony Edwards is going to be the pick here. He's going to be Devin Booker's replacement. Hopefully, you know, can kind of do something. Who knows, though? But... The rest of the draft so far, LaMelo went three to the Cavs, Killian Hayes went four to the Knicks, Cole Anthony, and now we are on the clock. So, position-wise, like, obviously there's a lot of needs. Obi Toppin here is not a bad idea. I mean, we definitely do need a power forward. The Dario Saric days just really aren't for me. I, I'm definitely considering where the hell is... Okay, damn, Denny's down. I feel like Denny Odiha is definitely higher than the 19th rated prospect, but Obi Toppin is going to be my pick. I don't get Obi Toppin a lot. I actually did a rebuild on him. Uh, and he's, again, not a guy I get a ton. So we have two nice young pieces, 18 years old, Anthony Edwards and Obi Toppin, I believe, was a senior uh, where, where he went, um, Dayton, yeah, I mean, whatever. He's a 78 overall. He's still relatively young. Check Diallo, Eli Okobo, or Ellie, I'm sorry, are both going to be coming back for now. Javon Carter, we have a ton of young point guards at this point. I don't really need him here. Saric, like, I'll give him a $3 million qualifying offer. That's probably the most money I'm going to give him, though. If he gets money from somewhere else, I'm just probably going to let him go. So... This is now not a realistic rebuild. I'm going I'm to repeat that again. This is not a realistic rebuild at this point. I thought that trade was decently realistic, but after this, we're kind of done. So, Edwards is obviously starting. I wouldn't mind starting Oubre. Kelly Oubre is like an underrated player, in my opinion. Not a guy I get a ton, and I definitely want Mikel Bridges coming off the bench. Defensive god. Obi Toppin's my new guy here. I hated the Cam Johnson pick at, what was it, 11? I, 
I don't get it. I don't think he's ever going to do anything for that team. And then Aiden Kaminsky and Czech Diallo. So I definitely have a few trades to make uh, before we do get into any free agent signings. So this might seem like a weird trade timeline wise, but the way 2K typically works, like in the simulation and stuff, is if you have a good amount of overalls and then you mix in some veterans, some young players, it typically tends to work. And Chris Paul is, again, not a guy I get a lot. I'm offering Rubio my 2022, so not my pick next year, but the year after that, unprotected, because I think we'll definitely be good by then. And then Cameron Johnson, who I just don't really see a spot for. Uh, you can take Frank Kaminsky if you like, literally just take him. Like, just, you can have Czech Diallo. Simple enough. Chris Paul is going to be the new starting point guard here. Uh, we do have Ty Jerome and Eli Okobo. I honestly don't know if I really want either of them. I think I'd rather trade them both for picks. I'm definitely going to give Kelly Oubre a year, Obi Toppin, and then Deion Rayton. So our starting lineup is all set, and I think this is a team at this point in time that a 10-man rotation is kind of necessary. So I will do that. A lot of you guys have been telling me to you know, maybe branch out and do some 10-man rotations because you guys know me. I love doing my 9-man rotations. But... I honestly don't really see either of these guys fitting as my backup point guard. I mean, not that either of them would be here the entire video, but if I can get first round picks, which I'm not exactly low on, but I mean, I'm definitely not going to say no. Like, I'm just, it's just, it, it, it's smart because I can definitely get 71 overalls if I want. So, Ogabo went, Ty Jerome is next. I'm going to take a first round pick from Cleveland here unprotected. So, we get two more first round picks. And at this point in time, obviously, we have what, six guys in this roster? So, I'm going to get a backup for literally every position, but these guys are definitely all my starters for at least this first season. So, Fred Van Vliet, eh, but like our point guard's really solid. Evan Fournier, I definitely wouldn't mind. We have a decent amount of cap space. I, in real life, I could really never love the idea of giving Evan Fournier $60 million, but I'm going to do it. Aaron Baines, I would like to bring back. I don't know if it's going to let me, unfortunately. Um, okay, I guess I maybe can after this. Hopefully, the game wants to let me. Do I have bird rights on Baines? No, I do not. I only have it on Sarge. Uh, is it going to say I can afford him or no? Baines, 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 Baines. Okay, he wants... Not that much money, honestly. I can work with that. So, Evan Baines and Aaron Fournier. Evan Fournier. Evan Baines. Evan Fournier and Evan ba or, Oh, my God. I did it again. Aaron Baines are now back on this team. Well, anyways, that Baines is. So, power forward and point guard at this point. Again, I don't need anybody unbelievable. And I might still have bird rights. No, I thought I still had bird rights on Sarge, but I do not. So, need a point guard. Um, I will take... Oof, tough, tough, tough. Uh, I'll take Jonas Drebko. Honestly, that's not the end of the world. And then I'll probably look to trade him. Same goes. Well, I'll probably do the little Sean Livingston cheese as well. So I can actually give him a decent amount of money. So that is all set. I'm actually going to keep Drebko. I don't mind him as a stretch four. And then I will move Sean Livingston for a different point guard. But other than that, we're all set now. We'll see you guys at the start of year number one with this rotation. All right, guys. So we're here at the start of year number one right now. And this rotation is honestly looking pretty good in my opinion. I definitely think we're going to be a better team than last year. Chris Paul, Anthony Edwards, Kelly Oubre Jr., Obi Toppin, and DeAndre Aiden. I really like having Obi Toppin here, even if he's not the most like pure stretch for. What is this like shooting stats? I feel like that I get, the guy can probably definitely shoot. Oh, I did not know he's that good of a three-point shooter. Okay, well, I'm going to take that back. Having a three-point shooter next to DeAndre Ayton is not the worst thing in the world. I'm just going to put that out there. So, the bench is actually pretty decent, in my opinion. Evan Fournier, Aaron Baines, Mikel Bridges, Jonas Drebko, who I signed, and then I just did the quick swap for Quinn Cook. It's it's my 10th guy playing 10 minutes a night. Not that big of a deal. But I definitely think this team can be better than we were last year, I'd hope. But what would we, what would we win, like 27 games? So, let's see how this team can do. Hopefully, maybe be in the playoffs, and I'll see you guys at the end of the first year. 60 wins? 60 wins for this team. Are you kidding me? I thought this team was a borderline playoff team and we win 60 games in the first year. If that doesn't show that like 2K is some of the most broken shit ever, I mean, look, I get it. I'm sure the connection between Chris Paul and DeAndre Aiden is just unbelievable, but like 60 wins is a lot. Giannis MVP, Lamelo Rookie of the Year. I think he's in Cleveland. Uh, yes, he is. Avika Zubak, six men. Kawhi even the player of the year. Chris, whoa. Chris South Porzingis, most approved. Monty Williams wins coach of the Air Force. 60 wins, and we're a one seed. Like, insane. Insane. I did not think this team was going to be this good, but I'm sure Devin Booker's, like, crying right now. How did he do? Um, where the hell are the Timberwolves? 39 wins. I mean, you look at this lineup, and, like, this lineup is pretty good. Oh, James Johnson. They got Kendrick Nunn, Duncan Robinson. What trade? And Marcus Gasol. Interesting. Looks like they made a couple moves. Uh, player stats on the year led in scoring by Anthony Edwards in his rookie year. CP3 was super solid, even at the age of 35. DeAndre Aiden, 16 points, 13, almost 14 rebounds. Is awesome. Obi Toppin, Evan Forney, uh, Kelly Oubre Jr. Like, this team is just super well spread out, in my opinion. That's, that's just how I was trying to build it. Uh, Aiden led us in boards, and CP3 is obviously in assist. Points per game. Uh, looks like we weren't that high. We were number nine. It's actually pretty good. Defensively, we had to be pretty good. Yeah. Under 108 points per game, and it did give us the best differential. Wow. I, I, I cannot believe this team right now. DeJounte Murray, Derek White, DeMar, Precious Achua, and LaMarcus Aldridge is the starting five here for San Antonio. Let's see if we can get by them. I would hope that we can after winning 60 games. But again, this team doesn't have a ton of playoff experience, maybe besides Chris Paul. But he's, you know, he's, he's pretty used to second round exits, if I do say so myself. But... 
Let's see what we can do here. We're up 3-2 right now on San Antonio. We do end up winning in six. Denver here, who's also a pretty decently young team, signed Boogie, and they have him playing power forward. That man is way too fat to be playing power forward. Just putting that out there. This isn't 1985 anymore. Jamal Murray, Gary Harris, Michael Porter Jr., Boogie, Jokic, Barton, Monte Morris, Josh, dude. Josh Jackson, I will hand to God, wholeheartedly admit this. I thought he was going to be so good. That's like one of my biggest draft misses of all time. I thought Josh Jackson was going to be sick. I thought he was going to be so good. Like, when Phoenix drafted him, I was just like, this dude is going to be a defensive killer. And he just, he's a bum. He's, he's just, he's a bum. Just putting it out there. We're in the West Finals right now. Pat Beverly, Paul George, Kawhi, Marcus Morris, Montrez, Harold, Zubak, Lou Will. Weird that they have Zubak at six man over Lou Will. But I think this is probably where it's going to end for us. I cannot imagine this team. Seriously? I, I, I really didn't think. What? Kelly Oubre out here spanking Kawhi. You love to see it. You love to see it. Celtics here in the NBA Finals. Kemba, Jalen, Hayward, Tatum, Tice. Tristan Thompson, I don't like Tristan Thompson at all. Okay, let's see what we can do here. I I mean, I didn't think we were going to beat the Clippers either. And Are we serious right now? Like, are, are we serious right now? In year number one, this team's winning a championship. Like, all right, this game looks like it's going to be competitive, but no. What the fuck? I, I just like, I'm, I'm at a loss for words right now, how this team's like doing so well. Anthony Edwards has 16 points in the night, like, I'm shocked. I, I'm just absolutely shocked. It's also low-key kind of funny. Obi Toppin took Devin Booker's number, but that is what it is. But apparently I'm going for a three-peat now with this team. The fact that this team's doing a three-peat, and I thought they were like, and I think a lot of you would agree with me when I said this team is like a, it's like a very good, like it's, it's good, but like they're kind of still a borderline playoff team in my opinion. Nonetheless, I hope this is good. But yeah, in the next two or three videos, I'll probably be doing the other side of this with Devin Booker and what other, other teams. So I do, that's why I wanted, as I mentioned earlier, I wanted to do this side first because, you know, Devin Booker's leaving no matter what. Let me know what team you think Devin Booker is going to get traded to and what the trade will be. And then if you guys see a comment that you agree with or whatever it may be, even if you see a team you agree with and you want to change up the trade, just comment below. But like that comment, you know, the more I'm going to try to go with like the majority here. I think that kind of makes the most sense. So just what I'm probably going to do. Anthony Edwards goes two for two from the charity stripe. Uh, but yeah, this team being in the NBA finals right now is just banana land. It's absolutely crazy. And Grant Williams is not Patrick Patterson. That's gross. Tristan Thompson is going to just put that one back. I don't know why my starters aren't in, but I really don't want to play with all these scrubs right now. I mean, besides Anthony Edwards, who hopefully is going to drill that. Okay, he's going to miss that. I'll probably do one more possession. I mean, we still have a whole video to go, and gameplay is not really my thing. You guys know that. But other than that, if you guys do have any other video ideas, feel free to comment them down below. As I mentioned in pretty much all my videos, we're in like the grind time of 2K right now. and Videos are, you know... Good ideas are tough to come by, and I, I give a ton of you guys a credit. You guys send me good ideas, whether it's in Twitter DMs. Like, I got a lot of Twitter DMs recently about video ideas, and all my comments are great as well. So don't get me wrong. The historic rebuilds will be coming. I know it's, like, a good time to start doing those. So I'm getting a lot of requests for a lot of certain teams. Please comment, or, yeah, just leave anything, because I'm going to do what you guys ultimately want me to do, especially in a time like this. Right back to Patrick Patter. I don't know what just happened. I'm not taking free throws. I'll see you guys at the finals MVP. That feels so weird to say. I feel like it's going to be Chris Paul. And yeah, Chris Paul wins his first finals in Phoenix. Who would have thought? 20 points, three and a half rebounds, 10 assists. I mean, good for him. 35 years old, dude makes it to, yeah, I guess his first NBA finals and wins a finals MVP. So we're heading up to the draft lottery. I kind of makes me wish I traded my pick this year. I mean, not that we're going to be bad. Oh, wow. How are the Lakers at 14? But I mean, we do have a lottery pick here, hopefully. Um, and it stays at number 14. So we do have the Lakers. How do we have a Lakers pick? Um, there's no reason for me to move on from Monty Williams right now. Like he, he just coached us into a championship. And I'm, I'm assuming hopefully that helped a lot because again, this team is good, but we're not, we're not great if, in my opinion, but 14, 26 and 30 from ourselves probably have at least one or two moves to make. Let me see what I can do here. So I'm going to work on this deal with Miami. I think Jimmy buckets coming here would not be the worst thing in the world. It's definitely been a minute since I've gotten Jimmy Butler. So I'm just trying to give up a couple picks right now. Again, I'm not loaded on picks. I have a decent amount, as you can see here. But, damn, I still don't want to do that. Do I have anybody under contract? Like, I, yeah, I think it's just Aaron Baines. I don't really want to give up Aaron Baines, but how old is he? He's 34. I'd do it for Jimmy Butler, especially because DeAndre Aiden's doing nothing but progressing. They still won't do it. They want Anthony Edwards. It's just not going to happen. Okay, well, I thought Jimmy Butler would be a pretty cool addition here. I wouldn't mind Jalen Brown at all if they you know, could consider doing that. I don't, I mean, Jalen Brown's pretty valuable. I'm um, not to saying Jimmy Butler isn't, but let's see. I'd give you Baines back. Aaron Baines returning to Boston would be, I mean, I know a lot of Celtics fans would like that. And they agree to that. All right, Jalen Brown's going to be my new starting small forward. I trade Evan Fournier, and I'll probably end up trading Kelly Oubre as well, I think, even though he is a free agent. But, yeah, Jalen Brown's going to be my new starting small forward. 
So we're all set there. No picks in this year's draft. We're only heading into year number two. Like, I feel like we should be heading into the third year. But, yeah, CP3 is going to pick up that team option, or his player option kind of makes sense. Bridges is back, and then DeAndre Ayton is back as well. So probably going to have to work on some sort of signing trade right now with Kelly Oubre, maybe bolster the bench a little bit. Worst comes to worst, I can have him come off the bench. That wouldn't be the end of the world. But I think this team is at a point where we're good enough to, you know, probably go with a nine-man rotation. Uh, so, yeah, Kelly Oubre wants $120, $30 million. That's just – that's kind of crazy, but – I'm just, I'm just going to do it. Uh, I just, uh, Kelly Oubre. Like, I, I like the guy. Dwight Howard likes the guy. But, like, I, $130 million for Kelly Oubre is just a little rough. But I'll give it to him for now. If a trade pops up that works, that's what we'll do. So, Kelly Oubre is back on this team. I obviously need to work on the bench a little bit uh, at this point in time. Honestly, Jalen Brown's not going to have a backup just because Anthony Edwards can definitely slide in. Probably whoever my backup is there. So, Bridges is only 6'6". What is his overall if I move him down to shooting guard? Because I do like his defense. He's a 79. I'll keep him. So, Bridges will be my backup shooting guard. And obviously, he can play small forward if he has to. So, honestly, Kelly Oubre probably will be traded at this point. So, let me see what trade I can find for him. An absolutely perfect trade here with the Clippers. I need a backup center, and I need a backup point guard. And we just, you know, clear both of those with that trade. It might not be the best value trade in the world, but honestly, I'm kind of liking it. So, at this point, we just need a backup for Obi Toppin, who is an 80 overall. Uh, Bielitsa, stress the floor, but it's just a little old. For me, I, I would be, I, I, whoa, Jesus, this game's like glitching. I'm going up and it's just like not working. I would not be opposed to bringing back Dario Saric on a two-year deal. Um, he can stretch the floor a little bit if he has to. And then honestly, like he's definitely not a bad, like sixth, seventh man, whatever it may be. But with that being said, we're all set. I mean, look at this. These are probably two of the best defensive guards in the league and they're both on my team. Awesome to see. We're all set. I'll see you guys at the start of season number two of the rotation. So year number two here, we've seen a little bit of regression from Chris Paul. I honestly don't mind that because the rest of this lineup is what? Caps at what? 25 years old. So very, very happy with it. So CP3, Anthony Edwards, Jalen Brown, Obi Toppin, and DeAndre Ayton rounds out our starting five. DeAndre Ayton's an absolute monster. Super pumped to see what he can do. Uh, Mikel Bridges is going to be our sixth man. 24 minutes tonight from Zubak. I wanted to get a decent amount. Same with Beverly. That's why I went 18 and 17 respectively. I think they both definitely need to play. A decent amount, like a quarter and a half, whatever that may be. Uh, then Sarge is going to chill with 12 minutes. And if we need him, 73 overall, 37-year-old J.J. Brea is here. But we're all set. I'm looking to three-peat in this video, boys. You know, if you start off season number one with a championship, the three-peat's always the goal. I'll see you guys on the year number two. This team is, like, on some other shit right now. Like, I, unbelievable. I just, I, I saw, I know this team's really solid, but, like, 71 wins. Like, are we serious right now? I mean, we have two second-year players starting. But Luka MVP. Cade Cunningham also wins six man in Portland. Hmm, interesting. Honestly, like, I would run him at small four. The dude is 6'8". I know he's an unbelievable pass or whatever it may be. You got to get him in the starting lineup. Anthony Davis, even the player of the year, resigned in L.A. Lonnie Walker, most improved. Never, you, know, you don't really see that one a ton. I feel like most improved is something that definitely gets switched up. Like, everything else really doesn't a ton, but that does. Monty Williams wins coach of the year after 71 wins. This team, I, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. We're 20 games ahead of the two-seeded Dallas Mavericks. Player stats on the year points per game. Anthony Edwards is an absolute baller. Jalen Brown, Obi Toppin, DeAndre Aiden. <coughs> God, that's awesome. Chris Paul, Mikel Bridges, Avika Zubak, Pat Beverly, and Dario Saric. Rebounds went to DeAndre Aiden at 14, and assists went to Chris Paul at 10 and a half points per game. We were third, only behind the Mavericks and the Hawks. Defensively, we were best at just under 105 points a game in 19.1 is our differential. Jamal Murray, Gary Harris, Will Barton, Scotty Barnes, and Nicole Jokic is the starting five for the Denver Nuggets. I would imagine we can probably beat that team. I mean, I, I cannot believe this team won 71 games. Like, I, I it kind of blows my mind a little bit because, like, I knew we are good, but, like, 71 wins is a lot of wins for anybody. I'm I, Never mind this team, but, hey, all the power to us, I guess. New Orleans here in round number two, Western Conference semifinal. Spencer Dinwiddie is an unbelievable pickup for him. Uh, looks like they lost Lonzo, though. That's a tough loss. I, 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 I mean, I probably wouldn't trade Lonzo for Spencer Dinwiddie if they could pick up Dinwiddie another way without trading B.I. or Zion. Obviously, I would do that, but I don't like the Lonzo for Dinwiddie swap. But nonetheless, we do win in five. Moving on to the West Finals. San Antonio Spurs here. Murray, Lonnie Walker, DeMar. They sign Giannis. They always sign Giannis. Aaron Baines, our old friend. Derek White, LaMarcus Aldridge, who's now on the bench. I would still be starting LaMarcus Aldridge over uh, Baines. But just my opinion right there. It's Brooklyn and Philadelphia over there in the East. We're up 3-0 on San Antonio, and we're in the NBA Finals. Taking on the Brooklyn Nets, Kyrie, or Kyrie, sorry, excuse me, Karis LeVert, Kevin Durant, Ron Dion's Kuroots, Roots, DeAndre Jordan. Dude, start Jared Allen over DeAndre Jordan. Like, just, just do it. I don't really care, though. We're up 3-1 right now, and we do go on to win in five. CB3 back-to-back finals MVPs. Honestly, like, it makes me kind of happy, like, seeing Chris Paul get a ring, because, like, he definitely deserves it. Like, I mean, he's the, he's the NBA snitch, but, like, he still deserves it. Up to the draft lottery right now. I don't know if we're going to have any picks in this year's lottery. I do not believe we do. Uh, yeah, we do not. So... Working with nothing there. 
Staff signing, I believe we should be still good in every department. Yes, we are. No real reason to change that at all. Up to the NBA draft. I will not draft Owen Joe. Nobody. Uh, I might have my late round first. No, I don't even. Oh, I traded mine at the beginning of this video. Okay, so we're not drafting anybody. Obviously, you know, we made two, what it was it, top six picks uh, in the first year. And obviously, they're both working out very well for us. All those guys are going to be coming back. Bridges and Aiden are definitely getting their qualifying. I want them both back. And I think, honestly, like Chris Paul is a free agent. I think I'm going to do a sign and trade with Chris Paul if I even have bird rights on him. Sometimes the game's just not going to give you bird rights on him, but I do. Uh, Aiden has 16 offers. I'll cap him and he's going to get his qualifying because this is a time where I don't mind that because I'm definitely not trading him. Uh, Bridges, I'll give a decent amount of money to, and then I definitely want to get CP3 back. He, he is an 83 overall, but I can still probably work on a pretty decent trade uh, if I do include some picks. So we get all three of them back. That's absolutely crucial. Sam Decker's on this team. Sam Decker went to Michigan, right? I, I believe he did because I feel like I remember him in March Madness and like, 2016 maybe 2015 no oh, he's drafted 2015 so maybe it was even earlier than that but i feel like oh wait, no he went to wisconsin didn't he was he with frank the tank Kaminsky? he went to wisconsin that's where it was okay i don't i knew it was one of the two i i should have looked again but wisconsin that's what it was not michigan i'm thinking who am i thinking of michigan i don't think i'm trying to think of who i if somebody gets to this point in the video and realizes who i'm thinking of please let me know because I, I can't think of it off the top of my head but um, I actually really no reason besides maybe Chris Paul was an 83 overall, uh, to change anything. So let me find the trade. Oh, okay. Wizards just agree to that. I'm not going to cut in the segment of me trying to trade for like six point guards and giving everybody four first round picks. I tried for Lonzo, Jamal Murray, Darren Fox. Um, one more, there was one more too. And just, it didn't go through. So, well, we got John wall now. I mean, he's an 88 overall 31 years old, obviously making a shit ton of money, but it's the final year anyways. So I definitely do not mind that. This rotation and team, I'm in love with it. We're all set. I'll see you guys at the start of the third and final year. You're number three here, and we are all set. John Wall, Anthony Edwards, Jalen Brown, Obi Toppin, and DeAndre Ayton. Bench looking like this. Mikel Bridges, Avika Zubak, Pat Beverly, and Dario Sarge. Bench stayed exactly the same. Obviously, the only change we made was John Wall instead of Chris Paul. I still think this team is unbelievable. Hopefully 70 plus wins again. Looking for the three-peat. I'll see you boys at the end of year number three. Luka puts up a triple-double here in year number three and wins MVP for the second year in a row. But the storyline here is us going 74 and 8. I mean, I I can't believe it. 74 wins with this team. you love to see it. Chet Holmgren is your rookie of the year. Is in Toronto. I think like he's in Toronto a lot whenever I get to this. Uh, Cole Anthony, six man, is in Golden State. Anthony Davis, even the player of the year. James Wiseman, most improved in Detroit. Monty Williams, third year in a row, coach of the year. I I this team is like blowing me away. This team is honestly blowing me away. Maybe it was a little unrealistic to trade Booker for the second overall pick or whatever it was, but I don't know. I I, I don't know. I can see it happening. Uh, Edwards and Toppin did lead us in scoring. It's awesome to see Jalen Brown, John Wall, DeAndre Ayton, Mikel Bridges, Zubak, Beverly, and then Dario Sarge. Rebounds per game went to Ayton with 14 and a half boards. John Wall with nine and a half assists. Honestly, stats were pretty similar to Chris Paul's. We led the league in points and we were best in defense. 21 point differential and funny enough we're facing our old friend here D'Lo, Booker, Culver, Morris, Carl Anthony Towns that's a really solid big three they have right there but it looks like it's you know not really working out a ton would have been cool if we could have faced them like the Western Conference Finals but it doesn't look like we're going to be getting to do that obviously you know we are looking for the 3P right here they're looking to win a playoff series so a little bit of a different story right here we do end up winning in five though so Devin Booker will not be getting a ring in this video moving on to the next round Dinwiddie, Nikhil Alexander-Walker, Ingram, Zion, Jackson Hayes uh, again, I don't really like the fact that they traded Lonzo. It is what it is, though. I can't really control that. But we're up 3-0 right now, and we do end up swooping them. Moving on to the Western Conference Finals, we'll be taking on Luka and the Mavericks. Seth Doncic, Dougie McDermott, Jabari Parker. Wow, that guy just fell off the face of the earth. Wow, they have Mo Bamba. Honestly, I would start Porzingis at power forward and play Mo Bamba at center. But just my opinion, it's Detroit. Wow, look at Detroit being a one seed. Two of like, the worst teams in the Eastern Conference right now are... Uh, Battling for the NBA Finals. Us in the Detroit Pistons here. Kemba's a new addition. Terrence Clark. Co Kawhi Leonard and James Wiseman. Josh Richardson's off the bench. Okay. Well, Detroit did a total 180. That That's a definitely improvement right there. But, you know, we sweep them. So, this worked out. This this whole, you know, trading Devin Booker thing worked out. You know, I love me Devin Booker. And Suns are honestly like one of the... Obviously, the Celtics are my favorite team, and I'm never going to root against them. But if I had to pick a second team, it's like the Suns of the Nuggets. Like, that's that's been my thing since the beginning of when I started watching basketball. But, yeah, that about does it. 
If you guys enjoyed it, leave a like down below. That would be cool. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe. As I said earlier, we're on the road to 30K, and if I could hit it pretty soon, that would be awesome. Of course, that's fully thanks to you guys. So, leave any other video ideas down below. As I mentioned earlier as well, next two, three videos, something like that, I will do the other side of this. So, comment some video ideas, or not video ideas, but comment the trade you want me to see me do for Devin Booker, whether it be the Timberwolves, the Knicks, the Hawks, whatever it may be, leave them down below. I'd be happy to do whatever the majority wants. I'll probably post something on Twitter, too. So, if you're not already following me on Twitter, go check it out. Links in the description as well. That about does it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed. Love you guys. I'll see you guys on the next one.